What's happening everybody? I'm Jeff Gresham and welcome back to the channel for yet another video. In this video, I want to take you on an exploration of an old abandoned school in the middle of the desert. So about a year ago, my fiance and I were out cruising around looking for cool places to take photos and a bunch of weird stuff just laying out in the middle of nowhere. Well, we came across this old school out on the way to the National Wildlife Refuge. So we stopped and explored and took some photos. Now, I wished at the time that I would thought to get some video so, you know, I can make a video about it. But I was so engaged in taking the photos that at the time it didn't even cross my mind. So having recently gone to the wildlife refuge to attempt to shoot some animals, on the way back, we stopped and revisited the school. Now this time JD was with us and he was all for shooting some footage. So now I can make this video. So all the photos that are gonna be popping up on the screen, they're actually a combination of shots that I took last year and the shots from this visit. Getting photos of places like this is pretty awesome. I mean, I'm looking at the school and I'm taking my shots and all I'm thinking is, how the school must have looked way back when it was functioning. Imagining all the students, you know, all crammed into this little building just to learn. You know, going around back, there's this old wooden basketball court. And I stop and I think what it must have been like to play basketball in the dirt with a metal hoop mounted on a wooden backboard and, you know, sitting on a wooden pole. I look down and there's this pair of shoes barely visible sticking out of the sand, at the base of the pole. It's almost like it was trying to tell me a story, much like we do with photography. There was also this old, I, I guess you could say barbecue pit or rotisserie pit or something. It was kind of weird and cool at the same time. You know, why would that be there? Did they prep the food outside? Just off to the side of the small school building, there's a little shack. Now, what's weird is I have another video of another abandoned school and there's also a small abandoned shack next to it. Like, did every school have a small shack next to it? Like, what is the significance of that? We get inside and there's a little notebook for people to sign, which is, you know, pretty cool. We wander around for a bit, getting shots of the broken windows, you know, the sink that's now a makeshift bird's nest, as well as shots of the bathroom. We don't go exploring often. I mean, maybe we should. But if we see no trespassing signs, we kind of stay away to avoid, you know, going somewhere that we shouldn't. And luckily this place didn't have any signs whatsoever. Everything seemed to be left open for visitors except for the school itself. Now it makes sense for that to be locked up. It's kind of historical, so they don't want it vandalized, you know. Anyway, we got some really cool shots. The whole property kind of tells a story while leaving a lot to the imagination. I really enjoy taking photos of places like this because the story it tells is kind of open to interpretation. Just like art is subjective and open to interpretation as well. You can tell its story through photos, but not everyone's gonna see the same thing. Anyway, I just wanted to make this video to talk about the, you know, the beauty of abandoned places and just how beauty is enhanced through photos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, we're either entertained or you took something else from it. So I'll leave you with that. And until the next time, just get out and shoot. And I'll see you in the next video.